what's up everybody back in our video today and today i'm going to show you my go-kart setup that i run when i run flathead limited so first things first i'm going to go ahead and show you everything everything is really nice so very high quality everything you have to have high quality stuff so it doesn't just break so Unless, but there's one cheap way to get um a good way on gloves. Go to Harbor Freight and pick you up some work gloves, and they work just as well as these racing gloves I have. So there's one tip. Okay, there's all the stuff. <laughs> Awesome. You can see text show me in the comments and ask me where you got it. I know there's probably gonna be some. Go on zampracing.com, velocifa.com, icart.com, and they will hook you up. These are Velocifa Racing Gloves and iCart neck brace. And a Zamp racing helmet. Oh, and if you're wondering what this little strap is, right, this little foam cord on the bottom is, this is to hook into my, I forgot what it's called, but the people at the track give them to you so the five man can talk to you. But in go-karts, we don't have it. So this is just dangling. But I also use this for sometimes if there's a race for flat carts on asphalt we'll go and try and run it and now you have to have this for that so we actually pick one up and it works great awesome little thing so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna run you down of how much the prices were on everything Four hundred sixty nine dollars, one hundred dollars, fifty seven dollars, and that's gonna end the video, guys. Um, the reason I have a clear shield on here right now is because the last cart race, um, it was on a clear shield because we um were in the it was nighttime, all race, so I just threw a clear so I could see a little bit better. I have a blue and a green but my green so on the other video check the other video out for my daytime junior sprint helmet and if you look on that video um it's a gray amp just like but it's, it's just the same brand as this helmet but um fully modded out hans and everything if you check you need to check that video out too very nice video but this is like just the carding setup and um but just to go ahead and disclaimer the video about my daytime junior sprint helmet was just about the helmet it wasn't about the setup this is about the setup like the gloves the neck brace and one day i'll give you a rundown of the cart so but right now, this is just, this is just the helmet, the gloves, and the neck brace, which is, this is what the apparel I wear. Now, as far as jacket goes, I'm going to put a whole new video on jackets and suits. And also, I'm going to do a video about shoes. So... Bye, YouTube. Have a good day. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you something. Don't think, because even though you don't get to have a chance to race or track or like, you have asked if you could or you could try it, and your parents say, well, it's a little bit too expensive, don't get mad at them for saying that. It's not their fault. 
or anything, and I'm not trying to be any other business or anything, but it takes a lot of money to race. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity I got to. So just be grateful if you get to race. Don't just be bugging because you didn't got the best of the best gloves or the neck brace or the helmet or the visor or it's all cool and stuff. Just be appreciative of what you get. Even if it's a $3 helmet from a yard sale, give it appreciation. And if you want something for your helmet, save some money. Buy it yourself. You can get it for your birthday or for Christmas or something. That's all. Just be grateful. If you get an opportunity or not, be grateful. Okay. See you, YouTube. Subscribe and like this video. Bye. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, yep. not today, no. not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get paid.